Well, it's only Sunday morning, bloody hell. And I'm on site in Wales. I'm in South Wales. Can't pronounce where I am, so I'm not going to say it. But I'm having a bit of a mare of a morning. So I've been here since eight. One of the riggers was here when I got here. The other one arrived at about quarter to nine with the four before. It's a 4 before site. I can't get on site. This is the same site that two weeks ago, or less than two weeks ago, about a week and a half ago, I got stuck down that track. I'm not going down there in this new van. But number one, I won't make that turn. This is wider than the crafter. Even though it's a crafter. It's still wider. This is a loot and it's got a box in the back. And I only just made it last time. And then I'm not getting dragged out again because that's partial part of well, that's what we think partially destroyed the fueling system on the other van. Because we're over revving it, wheel spinning, trying to get out of the mud. I'm not doing it. So they've seen their house with me this morning, saying that I should be able to drive down there. Because uh, they've got their 4 before down there. And the commissioner that's on site has got his 4 before car down there. So I should get my front wheel looting, front wheel drive looting down there. Not going to happen. That's not how it works. So how it works on these site clearances is... If it's down a track like this and it's a 4 before site, you wait at the bottom, they bring it down to you, load it on you, you get on your merry way once you're loaded. Normally it takes three or four runs in, in there 4 before or a 4 before whoever's on site. But they're refusing to do it this morning because they're running a day behind. Because they're running a day behind, that means they've got to push me behind. And they're not running a day behind because they've still got stuff to fit. Or there's still going to be more rubbish. Because we can get rid of all the rubbish now. And the site will be clean when they're finished. They're running a day behind because they're not plugged in properly. And they're not sorted out. And because they've not done their job. So that affects my job now. So it's quarter past nine. And they're reckoning they're not going to load me until one o'clock. It's Sunday. I can't get a load of the customer yet. Because they're probably still in bed. I'm not answering the phone. But... I'll try and phone them back shortly. But, yeah, five hours of waiting time on a Sunday. I'm sure they're not going to be happy about that. So, uh, they might be making a phone call and trying to get me loaded a little bit earlier. Anyway, I thought, whilst I've got nothing to do for a few hours, I'd give you, like, a bit more of an in-depth tour of the looting. So, as you can see, I'm sat in the cab. And the bulkhead here is white, whereas in the other one, it was black. Uh, got still got the fold down seat, got a kind of monster there. This van came with a first aid kit, but I'm gonna swap it out for mine. And there the lights are installed, which are obviously can change colour. But uh, everything on the other side is well half different, half the same. I'll show you. So steering wheel, like the airbags the same, but I'm missing all the buttons that I used to have because I've got no cruise control, no like uh, audio or anything. And I don't have Apple CarPlay. I've just got like the standard uh, radio system. Don't have aircon. Didn't have aircon in the last one anyway, so that doesn't matter. I fitted my beacon at the front there. Got an old 12 volt over there, which I'm gonna, I've not put my fridge in yet. I need to. I still need to move everything over from the other van. Like the dash is the same, apart from like the the, the screen in the middle doesn't show me as much. And I control it now by little buttons on the end of here. My phone out there, but I need to move that. Uh, I'm just waiting for, I've got a pad down here, which is uh, glued on and sticking. Obviously, I've got lights up here. Uh, it's the same as the other van, because it's a 2018, so it's the earlier model of this van. And in the newer models, they've put, um, put a shelving unit up here, but there's no shelves up here. It's just that. And then, yeah, that's it. Passenger seat. And then that is the dashboard. Let's go and show you outside. So outside same beautiful front as the other crafter but we've got the big box on the back now it's an 18 plate i've got the extended wing mirrors which honestly absolutely fantastic like view around this box as you can see there and on the cone at the front you can still see the old sign writing which i'm not happy about but i'll get that off we walk around this side the passenger side, like the, the van itself is immaculate, it is really beautiful. But there again, you can see the old sign right in there. Front tyres, front and rear tyres are cheap, they're budget ones. So eventually we'll be getting them changed. 
Um, front tires are worn but okay and rear tires are brand new but still not as good as I'd like them to be but yeah look at the size of this thing massive and we got the tire lift Ooh, I'm still in a load of mud so here's the inside of the box uh, unfortunately the light's not working in there which is a bit of a pain and as you can see there's no ground anchors, which is something that I didn't notice at first. So that's something I'm going to have to um, address and I've fitted some. But I do have the side railings, which I'm not sure if I'm going to keep because they, they protrude a bit. The box is two metres wide, two metres tall and 4.1 metres long. It's a bit worn in here, but just needs a good clean and it'll be all right. I've actually... I'm quite unprepared today. I've not brought anything with me. I've not moved anything over from the other van yet. Uh, the roof's a bit dirty, as you can see. But it's all solid. Got the, obviously the switch outside and the isolator in the cab. This is the light, but it's not working. There is something I noticed, but which we need to address. As you can see, this bit has got wet and caved in on that side and on that side. So I'm assuming at some point there's been a mild leak up here, um, but it's not been leaking for a while by the looks of it. But I'm just gonna probably take this out, it's only a thin bit, uh, and replace it fully. This is actually sat on top of the roof, which is normally there. And there's the inside of the nose cone. Some storage up there. Um, a few questions I did get asked about the van is, uh, how am I going to tramp in it? And well, I have absolutely no idea, but I'm going to figure that out as I go along. And I'm uh, probably going to, I need to clean up this floor and sort these side rails out. I'm not sure if I want to keep them or not. They do take up a bit of room from the wall, like an inch there on either side. And then... The shutter, well, the shutter's obviously, it's a bit battered, but it works. Got the one. We want a working shutter. It's an alloy body Manchester van. It's got all the locks and everything at the bottom, so yeah. Honestly, it's really, really nice. It's a nice van. Um, and this is where we're at, just out in the countryside. Sheep over there. Oh, they've all gone. There was sheep over there. Oh, caught some berries in me. Got some advice on uh, on YouTube about getting some grease for these because they're chain driven and they get a bit bunged up and stuff. Which it's already a bit, it's a bit slow, so I'm probably going to need to look into getting it serviced at some point. Rear lights down there, both working. Well, number plate lights are all working and everything. It's a proper nice one. Obviously, second hand, it's got mileage on it, but I'm well chuffed. Really, really chuffed. Like, no rust or anything under there. It's beauty. She's a beauty. And they want me to fit that through the air down there to see where that car is all the way down there to pick up all the rubbish that's exactly where I got stuck so not a chance in hell <sighs> there she is the big beauty I'm over the moon uh, MPG wise mm, Averaging 28 today so far, so hopefully that picks up a bit, but I doubt it. Uh, the online specs say that it averages 30, so we'll see about that. And yeah, that is her. And uh, we're obviously going to try and get rid of that sign right up there and on the sides. Going to give her a good clean at some point. Sort the back out, put some anchor points in. And uh, yeah. She's going to be uh, with us for a few years, putting some proper mileage on her. Thank you for watching.
please do like and subscribe. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.